Triple T Archery, we're out here at Clinton County Sportsman. The compounders have all hit their mark, so Ben's up to the stake. He's about to make contact on this wolf. I'll get three. Oh, right in there, right in there. Well, Hazards. raining trees too, guys. <laughs> Target three, Clinton County. Triple T archery here, Trevor. Oh, he got foam. All right, Clinton County, target four, through the trees. Ben has got somewhat of an issue. Uh, they got her stake set back here. Where's the stake? It's up here somewhere. There it is. And he's got to shoot through this hole on this deer. Foam. I got foam. Foam. I don't know where I hit We don't really know exactly where, but it's somewhere in the foam. All right. So you get the next one. Hold that. Let's leave it running. All right, Trevor Fielder up now. See, these short guys have the advantage in this situation. I don't know if you can call this an advantage. <laughs> When you have a two foot hole to shoot through. <laughs> Got foam, guys. <clears throat> That's how we do it. Out here on the Hunter Challenge, Clinton County. Bends up to the plate. Bam, heart shot. A little well. Heart shot. We'll take it. Come, come around the right side of that tree. Trevor Fielder, target seven. He's down. Money shot. Damn. John. Ready. Ben's got about a 30 yard shot to this bear. This is the Hunter Challenge out here at Clinton County. And he is out there. Ben smoked him in the elbow. It's awesome, man. We'll take man. it. We'll take it. 30 pass. yards. A lot farther than it looks. Trevor Fielder's up. It's a lot farther than it looks. He's dead. Take it. It's just a fun shoot. Smoke around hunting challenge out here at Clinton County. We're going to put two in this one. There's the first one. Can't really see it because of the because of the veg. About 23 yards, 24 yards. Ooh, with some veg, but Two I kills. think he got it. It bends up. It's about 23, 24 yards through the veg. I got two in there in the kill. Eleven ring. Smoked got it. That one money, guys. Took out like three bushes and smoked it right in the eleven ring. When you shoot logs, that's what you can do. Bam. Eleven Consistency, ten. baby. Consistency. 
So the hurricane came through last night. It's been raining. We're up here in Cincinnati. Getting a little drizzle. We were out here at the Hunter's Challenge. It is a challenge. Ben just shoulder punched this bear at like 30 yards. Trevor Fielder using his range finder in his head. There he goes. See what kind of shot we can get. I center punched the shoulder a little high. He's right there with me. County. Got my 23 inch ILF target riser. Got me some medium Hoyt Grand Prix carbonase limbs. Got a 66 inch bow, triple T string. I'm about to shoot from the compound stake. Hunter's challenge. Got about 30, 35 yards this javelina. Come on around, Ben. Let's take a look at it. This is what we're talking about. You can shoot these bows from the compound stake. Don't let anybody intimidate you. Smoked him. Ben's got the Bruin, made in 1997, made it for one year, D-shape, beautiful bow, shooting a triple T string. These strings are great. Put a new string on here, hand chalk gun, no more string slap, you get the brace height set right. This thing's money, only if I can do my part. Shooting from the compound stake, about 30 yards, down to this pig, through the brush, hunter challenge. Smoked him. Smoked him, Ben. Smoked him. Ben is about to slay the gator. Um, looks like he's got a little over 20 yards there. Uh, through the brush. I'm at an elevated position, but Ben's got a hell of a shot. Smoked him. Trevor shots up. We got a gator, a little over 20 yards. Go down and see how he does. Okay. As usual, Trevor's, Trevor's right on. Target 14. We skipped the target again on our scorecard, so and again, it's all for fun. So we're gonna take a shot from the compound stake and from the traditional stake. Bends up from the compound stake. I can barely see the target. Oh my yeah, gosh, I I he did. drilled it. That has to be, that has to be 32 yards. He flat smoked that thing. I don't think you can see it on video, but we'll get a picture. Okay, hit the white stake, Ben. I mean, he just absolutely destroyed that target from the compound stake. This one's a little closer. A lot more confident this kind of distance from me. Dude, right next Money. to your other one. Money, guys. I think you shoot like 100 times better with that new string. Look at this, baby. White, black. Hang on, I gotta zoom yeah. out. Got my. Look at that string. He made me some custom string puffs. Trevor Fielder knows what he's doing with these. Alright, I'm up from compound stake. Honestly, I'm a little nervous. Ben destroyed it. We got two dead deer down there. I'm just gonna try to keep up. I'm gonna shoot it for 32. I don't know what it really is. 
Shot under it. Uh -oh. My arrow uh -oh. went. I could hear it for like an hour after it went under the target. Okay, next steak. White steak now. So I think I really shot that for like 28. So the Trevor's range finder's off a little bit. Nice to tweak my range finder. All right, pretty confident that this one is about 23, 24 yards. That sounded like money, Trevor. You guys to see this. This is the Hunter's Challenge compound steak. I can, I'm zoomed in about four power. I can barely even see the animal. No way you could see a scoring ring. You can just barely tell that there's an animal down there. I'm gonna walk up and catch Ben. We're gonna shoot this one from our steak. We're intimidated. Clinton County has intimidated us. Guys. I think that was over. Definitely over. Shoot another one. We have not lost an arrow today. I didn't say we didn't miss. We've not lost one yet. You got this. Foam. You can shoot this thing. No way. Come on, try. Try a little half lean here. branches good well team triple t we're out here on target 16 in clinton county and we have found the compounder steak but we got a little bit of a problem we got a little bit of a problem i'm walking up to this steak and i'd like to get a preview of what we're about to shoot but you tell me in a 360 degree pattern do you see a target because I do not know. Now we are traditional shooters, but I do know that a compound is not magic. It cannot bend around corners. Um, ben has indicated that he's found the target. However, let me zoom in. I'm standing here at the compounder stake. I got nothing. Where is it, Ben? Point. Right over here, on the left of that big target. Big back target. Okay, I still see nothing what is it One of them crazy wild deer. oh my gosh we found it when you when they say hunter's challenge in clinton county they mean hunter's challenge 3d shoots little pro tip um you want to be prepared for any distance i don't know how many times we've gone to a 3d shoot and had five yard target so let's give it a try and see what we can do All right, five yards, I'll shoot this dot, see what I can do. I've had many shoots where they put a turkey at five yards. He loves turkeys. I hate turkeys. <laughs> Not bad. Know your equipment. It's an easy 11 points. All right. All right, Ben's up. My advice, shoot these targets. Usually most places have them scattered around the course. Um, just cut. You know, make sure your backstop's clear. It don't hurt. Practice makes perfect, guys. He's a little high, but I felt a uh, 
tweak on my back arm when I release. So, something I got to work on. Thanks, guys. Figured it's about 35 yards from the compound stake. Now, Trevor's shooting his target setup. I shoot a little this little heavier bow. Um, just got it. Fair brewing. I'm shooting some heavy arrows. They're like five, in my mind, heavy. They're like 550 grains. Um, haven't got 600 yet for this, but that's what I got, so we're going to try it. They drop like a like a sack of brick. But let's see if we can hit something here. I think she's about 35 yards. I heard foam. Oh, wow. Went right through the veg. I think it's a little high. I hell married it, though. I'm going to leave it running. All right. 20, 30. I'm going to say 35, but I'm pretty bad at big targets. Uh, it might be 38. I think I'm just going to aim. Put my 30-yard pin about just under the spine and let it rip. So many sticks between here and there. Her phone. I hit it a little to the right, but distance was great. So target, I don't know, 19. I'm gonna shoot from the hunter stake on this one. Uh, compound stake. Got a deer down here. Trad equipment. Let's see what we can do. Basically the brush is coming out. I can barely see the center of the tin ring to the shoulder. I want to avoid the shoulder if you can. Looking at about 28 yards, maybe 30. Heart shot. My shot up on the probably 30 yard deer. Tell you it's wet out here, guys. It's fun. Loving every second of it. Anytime you can get out in these odd conditions, man. It's good practice. It's every bit of 30 yards. A little low. A little leg meat there, but not a bad shot for trad equipment. So once again, here at Clinton County, we've been intimidated. We are shooting from the traditional stake because we probably have, I don't know. It's probably not as far as it looks, but... Uh, it looks been, like about 35 yards of minute. No. <laughs> I don't know, man, but let's see. Let's try to get a yardage judge on this. So Okay, so I'm standing from the traditional stake, and I'm going to guess. I'm zoomed in, so uh, I'm going to go with 20. There's 20. Uh, I'd say this is right at 30 yards from the traditional stake. So this is a true hunter's challenge. I would consider uh, a 30 yard my max shot hunting. So this would be a good shot for us. We got a brown bear down there. Ben's about to light him up. Ah, I'm high in the butt, guys. I don't know. I see eight ring. Eight ring, maybe. I can't tell. That was a good shot. So we're out here at Clinton County. I am standing at the compound stake. It took us about five minutes to find it. Hunter's challenge. There's the target. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to zoom in. This is what we got. We haven't even determined what kind of animal it is. Kudu... Some sort of African thing. Could be one of them big wolves. We're not real sure. I don't know if I want to run an arrow today. I don't know if it's possible to shoot this from the compound stake with traditional equipment. But I think I'm going to give it a try. Um, so, yeah. 
I got this little hole to shoot through. I got traditional equipment. I think my setup's going about 186. This is going to be about 28 yards. If it makes it, I'll be surprised. Here we go. I'm going to have to dip way down in order to get my arrow. I got a pretty fast setup for a trad bow, but we're going to see. Looks like I got about six inches between that tree and the front leg. Money. Here's Ben. We're up at the Hunter Steak, traditional steak, and uh, he's got some pretty good form. So we're gonna take a look at his shot here. Shooting the Bruin, 68 inch. I got three points. <laughs> Here we go, Triple T. We're out here at Clinton County. I am standing at the compound stake on Target 21, and yet again, we have no clue where the target is because we can't see it. So we're literally, if this were a real 3D shoot, we'd be in violation, but we're gonna have to walk past the stake to try and find the target. Okay, here's the here's the white stake for traditional, but we have yet to see a target. Okay, I just found it. Can you guys see this? Really? Wow. That is what we got. 8x zoom. Another kudu or something. Wow. Okay. I think we're gonna shoot this from the trad stake. Yep. It's making it hard. Not so loud. This kind of really makes it hard judging distance for me, at least. You get so much crap around them targets, it really kind of throws your your mind for a loop. Just try to stay focused and put it in on them. Shoot a wide arrow so I can find it. Good shot. Right, I'm guessing about 20. Really, honestly, not much over 20, but so brushed in. Let's see what we get. Right in the heart. Through how I attack a difficult shot with traditional equipment. Um, got a shot of unknown distance here. I can't even tell what this animal is. I'm standing at the compound stake. Could be 35 yards. Um, pretty sure it's a bear. What I'm going to do, perfectly legal, I'm going to step out to the side where I can get a clearer view of the target. It's definitely a bear. I'm going to judge my yardage. I'm looking at about about 35 yards, so I'm gonna step back to the stake. I'm gonna get into my mental plan, walk through my shot, try to get good and straight. I got trees on both sides, basically, all I can see is the kill. All right, I'm gonna take a shot. At least an eight, maybe a ten. Bends up. Far shot. It's, uh, I'm kind of going to take Tre Trevor's advice here and kind of take a step out. It actually helps pretty much. Helps judge distance a little bit. I'm going to try to try to make this shot as good as I can. I think.
Totally got tree points. That's all right. That's a hard shot for it. On the wolf. Here we go. Team Triple T right here at this Hunter's Challenge, Clinton County. We got us a situation. There's a deer-like animal back there at about 26, 7, maybe 28 yards. We got a mess of brush in the way. Shoot from the compound stake. Gonna give it a shot. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Triple T. Right in there. Good shot, Ben. So, we've been trying when we can to shoot from compound state. Uh, we're going to have a situation here today where I might lose an arrow. Now, the deer don't know that I have traditional equipment, which is why I choose to shoot from the compound state, make things a little more difficult on myself. Ben, show them what we're up against. We got us a lake gator. Now, here in Cincinnati, we don't really have a lot of gator problems, but uh, you never know when the call might come come save your neighbor from somebody's pet. So, here we go. I'm gonna risk one of these fine gold tip traditional arrows. See if I can't catch me a lake gator. I'm guessing this is probably just a hair over 20 yards. Hope I'm right about that. Well, I don't know. We'll see if we can recover that one. I think I'm going to take another shot. One of my arrows is floating. Get him, Ben. Right there, baby. Right in it. Right in it. Right there. Nice shot, Ben. Let's see. Clinton County. Uh, challenge things have taken a turn for the worse as you can see I waited out in the lake to retrieve an arrow that came loose from the gator uh, he jumped string so I am soaking the knees down Ben had to pull me out the lake and now I am back at the compound state so we got an elk and he's a piece he's probably oh 45 yards trad equipment the elk don't know it here we go. 